Okay, so if you um, <clears throat> change Clover devices or sold your business <clears throat> and you like to uh, you like to continue doing online ordering uh, with a new Clover device or or a new or a new uh, business name or uh, or a new owner, here's how to make those changes. So what you would do first is you go on the back end of your website and then uh, delete the online ordering and then reinstall it again. So it's pretty simple. So what you do is you find the online order plugin. So here we go, right? Let's see where it's at. The uh, smart online order is. So again, you click on plugins, uh, and then you click on all plugins. So let me go ahead and find you here. Okay, here it is. We're gonna press deactivate, and then we're gonna delete it now. First, uh, make sure to delete it also, because the reason why is because the new Clover has new item ID numbers for each item name. So we need to clear out the database and put the new information in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete it. And I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall it again. So I'm gonna go to plugins. Type in Clover. And the first result should be right here. Press install now. Once it's uh, installed, you're gonna press activate. And then you're gonna go ahead, click on here, and then press settings. And then you're gonna put your new API key here. So uh, you just go to clover.com, you know, go to your browser, type in clover.com, and then open up the smart online order app, you'll get the API key. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Once you press the new API key in there, uh, press uh, save changes. And then right here, confirm the address is correct. And then do import inventory. So what we're gonna do is press this button here, right here, import inventory. And depending on how many items you have, it could take um, <clears throat> 30 seconds or it could take up to five minutes. But it usually takes about one minute to import it. Um, so let's see here, once it imports, um, click on the import inventory again, and you should see a number of items and categories, modifier groups, tax rates. Okay, so now we're gonna to go to order types. If you're doing delivery, uh, go ahead and leave this uh, enabled. If not, uh, make sure to remove that. I'm going to put this at the very top uh, because uh, most people do pick up and then uh, people do delivery uh, after that. It's up to you. I just, we're just rewarding, re rearranging it or reordering it. These are your in-store settings, so make sure these are not green. That's for your in-store customers. This is for your online customers. You only want the online customers showing green, okay? Store interface, uh, let's choose, this one is good. There's five of them. You can choose any one you like. Okay, perfect. Now let's go ahead and go to a checkout settings. We're gonna enable pay in store. Uh, let's just check if you have SSL. Okay, you don't have SSL. So if you don't have SSL, make sure to leave this on. Once you get your SSL, then you can turn this off. Uh, so it's important to get your SSL uh, certificate as soon as possible. Uh, pay in store, it's up to you. Pay upon delivery, that's optional. Again, if you don't want people to pay in store, you can turn it off like that. Uh, coupons, uh, if you want to do coupons, is right here. Tips, I'll enable tips. Uh, store settings, oh yeah, put your email address here uh, so you can get emails uh, when you get an online order. You can put your phone number as well. Uh, business hours. Okay, business hours are there. If you see your business hours set up like this, that means you have success, successfully uh, set it up on Clover.com. So go ahead and enable that, and also enable this too. Uh, 20 minutes, that's good. Save changes. And if you are doing delivery, make sure to add your delivery zone. I'm gonna go ahead and just do a five mile radius here. But if you're not doing delivery, make sure to, uh, to remove this. Um, so five mile radius, and then press value the selected zone. Save changes. And then, uh, okay, so we got checkout settings done. We got that done. Modifier groups. Uh, looks like we have beer here, so you may want to hide the beer if you're, if you're not selling it online. Let's go to categories and items. We don't need this. We can hide that. Drinks, appetizers, biryani, curry, fried rice, uh, kebab is good, ramen, vegetables, sides, specials, or liquor, okay? So delivery near, you don't need that. Uh, live at five beers, uh, cocktails, wines. Okay, I'm not sure what this one is, but if you come to this section, uh, go ahead and hide that. If you, um, it says live at five apps. I don't know what that is, but it looks like there's nothing inside of it, so I'm gonna hide that because I don't know what that is. Okay, 
Again, if you if you if you know what this is, um, go ahead and enable it. Perfect. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like now. I'm gonna click on order now. Oh, let's see. It's, it's nothing showing up. Let's look at the link here. Let's go to pages. If you go to your order online page and nothing is showing up, um, then do this. Go to the page where your um, order online page is on. Order online. Okay, you have two of them, huh? One. Okay. Okay, let's do this. I think uh, let's go to um, appearance. Let's go to um, menus. Okay, let's change the order online page. I think let's. Um, online order let's do this one here I think this is the correct one let's remove this one I'm not sure what if that's good. okay let's try again let's refresh it and then click on order online uh, let's see if it shows up now let me see what the link is here okay I think we have the wrong page here Oh, online order. This is called order online. Huh. Okay, so just make sure the links are correct. I'm going to try both of these, see which one is correct, because I see you have order online and online order. Let's see which one is correct. Let's go back and refresh it again. Save menu. Let's refresh the page. Okay, we have online order and order online. Let's see which one works. Okay, so it's order online. Okay, let's get rid of this one then which is this first one, remove. Okay. There we go, order online, okay. Let me refresh the page again here, because we got rid of that one. Okay, that one's still there. Let's go to menu, online order. Let's see, did I remove that actually? Let me press save here. Okay, let's try it again. There we go. Catering reservations contact order online. Okay, order online. There we go. So we got the lunch special. So it looks like everything is good here. Now, uh, remember, when you get a new clover or a new, uh, or you taking over the business, you have to set up your printer again. So go to YouTube, type in smart online order print, and then watch these. Watch the first video here. This will sh uh, show you how to set up your printing so it prints to your clover device. Okay. Um, or what you can do is, uh, if you don't know where this link is at, just go to, go to right here, go to, um, go to Clover Orders here. Click on Settings. Uh, click on um, Frequently Asked Questions. Let's see, uh, okay, let's see, it's not printing the receipt. So right here it tells you how to make it work. So you just have to go to YouTube and watch the video. Uh, how do you do that? It has all the answers here. So again, the best your best uh, help is YouTube. Just go to YouTube, type it in, type in smart online order. You'll see tons of videos. And if you watch the videos, it'll tell you exactly what to do to set up your printer and to set up all the other information, okay? All right, so hopefully this video proved helpful. Um, that's how you set it up. Again, I chose store interface three. I can choose a different store interface. For example, I can go here and choose store interface four, press save changes. And when I refresh the page, I see how it's going to look completely different. See, I can change it. I'm going to go ahead and add this to the cart. Let me add a. Let me add something. Um, let me add a site here to my cart. Make sure the cart page shows up. Yep. So online order pickup, online order delivery, pay with credit card, pay a location, add a tip, special instructions. Yeah, everything is good. Let me just do a test order here to make sure everything's working correctly. Pick up, select the time, paint store, testing, put my code in there. Okay, so uh, let's see, I got my special instructions here and
So remember to do a test order to make sure it prints correctly. And if it if it's printing to the wrong printer or if it's not doing correctly, watch the video right here. Smart online order printer, smart online or printer setup. Just search it in YouTube and it'll tell you how to set that up. Okay. All right. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to send an email or go to YouTube and watch uh, the other videos around here, uh, which shows you how to set up your delivery and everything else. Thank you.